today we are at the 626 Night Market Bay Area. They're basically the Bay Area version of the famous 626 Night Market in SoCal. And it's been a while since I've been back here, but I'm super, super excited to see all the different vendors they have and just have a good time. So let's go eat. We just stopped by Hana Ho and they are selling shave ice. I believe the owners are actually from Hawaii. So they have some that you can just kind of like build your own and then they'll have some that are like sets that you can order. Kind of like in Hawaii, they have that as well. So this one is their Dole Whip and I requested it to be half pineapple, half mango instead of all pineapple. And then I also added mochis on top. They put some whipped cream and some condensed milk on top as well. Oh my gosh, look how soft the ice is. I can just tell the texture is gonna be incredible. All right, let's try it. Wow, it literally is so soft. I love it. If you guys watched my Hawaii videos from last year, my favorite shave ice place on Oahu is Waiola, and it's because they have such soft ice. Like, I care about the ice texture so much. It's incredible that we can find such soft ice here in the mainland, too. Mmm, I love the texture. Has really nice pineapple flavor. Let me try the mango part. Oh, interesting. I actually think I like the pineapple side better. All right, let's try a little piece of mochi. Mmm. It's so fresh, it's so soft and chewy. I believe they make their mochi themselves too, so you can definitely tell. Super soft, chewy, and it pairs perfectly with the shave ice. This is so good. Literally taking me back to Hawaii right now. So we just stopped by Exhausted. I think it's supposed to be Exhausted, but technically if you look at the name, it's Egg Hosted. <laughs> but anyway, they have Tamagoyaki and I'm super, super excited because I feel like I don't get to have Tamagoyaki that often. And they have a lot of different fillings such as their black truffle cheese, unagi, and mentaiko, which is spicy cod roe. So here I have the unagi and the black truffle cheese because they said that's their most popular flavors. So I'm going to try the unagi first because I'm especially excited for that one. And if you can see, they have these really cute designs like this one's Gudetama and the truffle Truffle cheese one has a Rilakkuma on it. I'm so excited. Okay. Mm. Oh my God. The egg is perfectly cooked. Literally so silky and smooth. A little bit runny still too. Wow. It's so nice. The texture is amazing. That bite didn't have unagi in it. So let me try to get a bite with unagi. Wow, I love unagi. You get that classic unagi flavor. It also has a sweetness to it as well. And it pairs really nicely with the egg. Mm. Mm. And now we're gonna try the black truffle cheese. Whoa, there's so much truffle flavor. They did not skimp on the truffle. It pairs so well with the creamy cheese. It's actually very, very creamy texture. I believe the black truffle is in a mayo, so that mayo is adding extra creaminess to this. Wow, this is really rich and indulgent. I really thought I would like the eel like a lot more, but honestly, I feel like I like them both equally. They're both good in their own way. And then not only do they sell tamagoyaki, they also have some really cute drinks. Look at this cute bear bottle. And it has such a pretty gradient. I believe it's butterfly PT on top and then some sort of lychee like soda type thing. Of course, we got to use our Fee May Glass Boba straw. Link will be in the description as always. Let's go ahead and shake this up. Ooh, you can see they have lychee jelly on the bottom there. Wow, it's really like light and refreshing. It has a subtle lychee flavor, which is nice because sometimes lychee flavor is like too overpowering, but it's nice, very refreshing. I needed this, it's hot today.
Okay, so we just stopped by the Ube Naban booth. I think it's like Cinnabon because cinnamon rolls, but it's Ube cinnamon rolls. So it's Ube Naban. <laughs> and I got their Ube Overload cinnamon roll. So I believe the cinnamon roll itself is Ube flavored, but also it comes with some Ube icing and another some sort of Ube thing. I'm not quite sure what this part is, but let's go ahead and pour that icing on top. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look how purple it is. Wow. All right, let me spread it all around. Oh, look at the way it drips down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, let's cut into it. And then we're gonna put some of this on. I'm not quite sure what it is. And then we'll get a bite with everything in it. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm. Mm. Wow, the cinnamon roll is really nice and comforting and warm and fluffy and it pairs really well with that ube icing I believe it's kind of like a ube cream cheese icing because I do get like a cream cheese flavor to it It does still have some cinnamon flavor, but I feel like the ube flavor is stronger, which is nice I never really thought to put ube and cinnamon together as a flavor combo, but it's really nice I feel like when you eat the cinnamon roll itself the ube flavor isn't super strong So most of the ube flavor is coming from the toppings like the icing and I still haven't figured out what this other topping is but it's it's good. <laughs> Okay, so next up we have bun me up and they have a lot of different kinds of buns that you can order here what particularly caught my eye was that i saw they have shaking beef buns uh, they renamed it to big daddy beef buns i think <laughs> so in there you can see that they have the shaking beef as well as some pickled onions cabbage pickled carrots and daikon topped with some cilantro and you can see that they actually like toast their buns kind of which is so interesting let's give it a try mm. Mm, the beef is so so flavorful really savory umami flavor a little bit of sweetness too And I really love all the vegetable toppings that they put on it like those pickled onions and carrots and daikon They add this acidity that really helps cut through the richness of the beef and the toasted bun is so interesting Because I feel like usually when you eat buns you expect them to be like really really soft and pillowy But this since it was toasted it adds actually a bit of a chew to it Which I wasn't expecting then we have the braised pork belly bun this one It actually has this like green sauce on the inside so I'm really Really curious about that whenever I see green sauce I get excited because I tend to like any green sauce that I encounter like green salsa I love green sauce from the kebab shop I love green sauce is always just a good sign so let's give it a try whoa that pork belly you can definitely tell it's braised because it packs so much flavor in there it's tender melts in your mouth the fattiness of the pork belly really just like melts in your mouth so that being said it's really really nice to have those pickled veggies on top because it really just helps break that up and cut through it the green sauce i feel like i'm getting kind of a creamy cilantro a little bit spicy kind of flavor which i would not expect in a braised pork bun but it's actually quite good Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This is from Taco House. They're a new booth at the 66 Night Market and today is their first debut ever. So I'm super excited because I've been seeing all over like TikTok, Instagram, just social media in general that they have these huge shrimp crackers in Japan. Basically what they do is they pour some batter on and then they put a whole shrimp right in the middle and they clamp it down really, really, really tight, let it cook for a few minutes and then it becomes this huge crispy cracker. At this booth, they offer octopus or shrimp and I went with the shrimp and then they have some toppings. So I got the spicy mayo with furikake. Let's give it a try. I'm literally so excited. Woo! It's so crispy. This is so, so crunchy. Oh my gosh. Actually, I've never had like spicy mayo on chips, but it works. It tastes really good with it. There's certain parts of this chip. I mean, it is a huge chip. So some parts are like light and airy and crispy, almost kind of like the texture of those shrimp chips that you get at Chinese restaurants with like chicken. If you know, you know. It's kind of like that, but thinner and flatter, like way thinner and flatter. And then some parts are more kind of like crunchy and have a little bit of a chew to it. Mm, this is so fun. Literally has such a satisfying crunch to it. You can just hear it when I bite down. When you work your way more towards the center, you do get a more concentrated shrimp flavor. Definitely share with a friend though, this thing is huge. Mm, this is probably the most unique thing that you can find at the night market. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I always see people have these huge squids at the night market and I've always wanted to have one. So here we have a giant squid skewer from Lucky Ball Korean Barbecue. And I believe they have two flavors. So they have a teriyaki one and a spicy squid one. All right, let's give it a try. That has a kick to it. I really feel the tingles on my tongue right now. <laughs> the spicy flavor, it's kind of like a gochujang flavor, but spicier than gochujang. So it has like a sweetness to it. And I've never actually had like a gochujang squid type of dish before. So it's very interesting. Yeah, this is super, super flavorful. I like how the squid has a really nice bite to it and it's chewy, but it's not like tough, you know? So it's really nice. I feel like this is just that iconic night market thing that you have to get every time you come to the night market, you know, you walk around with your big squid. Like I'm living out my night market dreams right now. Okay, so we just stopped by Ghost Sticks and they have Korean corn dogs. So I got the one with the potato on the outside, like a potato crust kind of thing. And then it has some sauces. I'm not quite sure what all the sauces are. I believe there's a barbecue sauce, kind of like a creamy corn type of sauce. And also look at this cute little unicorn. How cute is that? I'm gonna have to take this unicorn off. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh, this thing is literally ginormous. This is the biggest Korean corn dog I've ever encountered. Like literally look at it. My face for reference, I have a very big head. So this thing is huge. Okay, let's give it a try. Look at all that cheese and potato, literally. <laughs> Mm. Wow. Has a perfect crisp on the outside. And oh my gosh, those potatoes, they're kind of like breakfast potatoes. Like they don't just use chopped up normal potatoes. It's kind of like a breakfast potato kind of thing. So it has extra seasoning, very crispy. And then the cheese is so stretchy and creamy. And I was a bit skeptical of all the sauce. I was like, that's kind of a lot of sauce, but it worked. It adds so much flavor, but nothing is like clashing. So it's nice. This one has half mozzarella cheese and half hot dog. So you can see the hot dog in there. Really tasty, really huge, definitely worth it. We also got this insane drink from Ghost Sticks. It's served in a fire extinguisher bottle. I've literally never seen this before. And I've seen a lot of boba bottles in my lifetime. I mean, I own a lot of them. And this is my first time seeing such a thing. And they even have some light up cubes which is really fun for the night market so here you have the thing and then you just push this down <laughs> how fun is that <laughs> i guess i just oh that's really really refreshing it's not like too tart and also not too sweet so it's really refreshing that should be a problem. So we've been eating all day. I'm getting really full. So this is gonna have to be our last stop. Also, I wanna finish filming before the sun goes down, which is kind of funny because it's a night market. And so you're supposed to enjoy it at night, but I need to film in the daytime. You guys get it. Anyway, I thought the perfect way to end off this video would be with one of my favorite booths at the night market, which is Junk Mail Masubi. I first tried them, I think the very first year that NorCal Night Market started, which was I think 2018. So like five years ago. And every single time I come to the night market, I have to stop by their booth. They're so good. They're one of the most popular boots at the night market. So we're definitely saving one of the best for last. They have some really unique spam offerings here. They have a spam and eggs one, a deep fried spam one, a hot Cheetos spam masubi, and their pork lumpia masubi, which is the only place I've ever seen do that before. I've tried them all, they're all great, but my personal favorite is the hot Cheetos spam masubi. It's so good. Oh my gosh, this is so good. The hot Cheetos pair so well with the salty Spam and the rice and the seaweed. I feel like Spam Musubi is such a classic. It's so good and it's hard to make it better than it already is, but covering it with hot Cheetos on the outside definitely does take it up a notch. I'm gonna try one more on camera for you guys and it's this Lumpia Musubi and it comes with a little side of sweet chili sauce because you gotta have your Lumpia with your sweet chili sauce. So let's give it a dip. Mm. Mm. 
This is so, so unique. I feel like the first time I heard about it, I was like a little bit skeptical. You know, how would lupia replace Spam in a musubi? But wow, it adds this really nice crisp. You get the flavor of the sweet chili sauce and it pairs perfectly with the pork lupia. I am so full. We had such a great time at the night market. Overall, after everything we tried, I'd say my top three picks are the shave ice from Hana Ho, the tamago yaki from Exhausted, and of course the musubi from Jugmail Musubi. Also, I think that big shrimp cracker is worth trying at least once in your life because it's super, super cool and unique. But yeah, let me know what was your favorite food from the video in the comment section. I love reading those comments from you guys. Also, quick shout out to everyone who said hi to me. I met so many of you guys today at the night market and it makes me so happy when I get to meet you guys. So thank you everyone for saying hi. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!